Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for the uh, introduction and uh, thanks again for being with us in the, the, in the afternoon for the third day. So you're real guys who want to really want to learn. Uh, well, I spoke about the AC Joy on the keynote lecture on the very first day. So I, I believe I give you the concept. And I have a little more time to explain uh, a little more about how to prove that concept. So uh, what is the why I'm interested in AC Joy Type 3? Because there's so much controversial in diagnosis, right? And there's no real consensus in treatment. Type 3, right? Lockwood classification. This is the uh, review, the current concept in the BMC 2022. They recommend about the same thing as the ESAGOS consensus. Look at this, the Lockwood Type 3. What they want to do? Uh, they would like to do the initial conservative treatment. Uh, so treatment based on endeavor decision. I don't know what does what is that mean. And then they would like to do the clinical radiographically evaluate after three to six weeks. They recommend to do a cross body a deduction like a Basmanier or Alexander View. In that kind of case, you see that that's placement. Okay, they said, oh, well, let's do surgery in this case. But what? As a joint injury uh, is a soft tissue injury by the time of waiting three to six weeks, and then you would like to repair it. I don't think it's easy. And in, in my hand, it's less predictable. So uh, I show you this case that comes to my service. He's been diagnosed with the uh, SHI type 3, but he came fast enough with uh, only three days. So uh, do you agree? The SHI type 3. But carefully when you look at this, don't look in one view. Look in the uh, transcapular view. You see the distal end of cravical and acromion. You still call it type 3? I don't think so. And we do conservative treatment in that. It's not going to heal properly because joint is totally dislocated right there. Okay, but just to prove this case, uh, well, uh, my resident tried to do the inlet, the outlet, and also the uh, every view, it doesn't prove. So it still looks like type 3. So if you believe in soft tissue repair, you, I have to try to think that how can we take the horizontal instability areas. My idea comes from this case. This case in Sundog, uh, my, he came to service. And that's the initial x-ray that my resident measured the displacement of the superior cargo is about six millimeters. And that about two or three months time, patients will complain of the pain and discomfort. X-ray looks not too bad though. And you look at the tran, uh, tran uh, axial view, you don't believe that. Any film on the AC joint they do in the patient's supine, you don't trust that. You have to do it in all in uplight. My resident even did the stress film. It doesn't make any difference. And it's been consensus by ISACOS that the stress film, uh, they do not recommend to use it. Then he sh I asked him to do this. I asked him to lean forward, drop his arm down. And you look at his shoulder. See that the distal end of clavicle. I see the difference in two sides. So the right side is very prominent. See here? Uh, here is very prominent. And then I took an x-ray. You look at the x-ray closely. See what's wrong. You see on the normal side, the clavicle uh, connect to the uh, acromion very well. And on this side, well, you see, it's very far displacement. So that make a lot of difference. So that, uh, that the idea came from this kit. So we did a study called Chiang Mai Lean Forward View. Uh, we actually, we did a study on a full body cadaver. We like full body cadaver for AC joint. So, First, we have no idea how much we have to lean forward, 30, 45, 60. So we test all. 
it came with the answer that uh, Chiang Mai lean forward view best done at about 30 degrees of leaning forward. Why? It avoids the overlapping of the, uh, the, the bony structures. And we did a sequential cut from the AC, AC plus partial CC, and complete cut of AC and CC. It showed a displacement like this number. If the only AC joint cut, the displacement is usually less than five millimeters. You cut AC in partial CC is about five to 12. You are over, it's all complete here, it's gonna be over than at 12 millimeters. So uh, this case, we ask the patient to lean forward and x-ray. And then we measure, we see the displacement, so then we, we, I discussed with the patient, even, even, even though we, we know it's displaced, but still have no conclusion that the surgery gives you a better outcome, right? Because there's no solid conclusion on the AC joint type three. So we discussed with the patient, so he agreed. He agreed to do surgeries. So this is exactly what we see. This is a torn, uh, torn uh, AC ligament. And then this is a CC ligament completely uh, empty. Yeah, so we did, uh, I'm not gonna repeat that, we did a double row. That's some of my talk on the very first day, you can go back and look on, online. I think Mancha will put that on, in line, online very soon. So we did a double row with the looping of the uh, uh, CC. I don't, I don't make the hole in the C, uh, on a clavicle, just loop it. Because at QCAS, you put it back in the place, it will heal. Okay, and then we put the, uh, the hook plate. I like I like my patient's shoulder to move, so I usually put a, a solid uh, fixation. So, this is him. This is post of him, and this is him after implant removal at three months. You see, in the right corner, I use the chain my lean forward as to prove that after we remove the uh, implant. The shoulder is still stable. The other thing that you, you want to use this view to compare or to study, I think it's going to be useful for the research as well. So our decision made for AC joint, I modified the as a cost classification a little bit. Well, if you see the Lockwood type 3, I recommend you do Chiang Mai lean forward view. If you want to do, if you have less than 12 millimeters, you wouldn't try conservative, it's okay. If you have more than 12 millimeters, patient is very active. I recommend surgeries. In this case, this is a lady. Uh, oh, okay, this is the lady. So it's supposed to have her video over here, but I know it's just okay. The, the displacement is less than 12 millimeters. She did very good. Oh, this is her. She worked in my hospital. So the MRI proved that she has a partial tear of the uh, CC ligament. And on the other case, another case, who is the lean forward view of more than 12 millimeters? We did a repair like we did, and this is him after we removed the uh, hook plate. Should have stayed very well. So when you see the AC joint type three, ask yourself, did your diagnosis correct or not? And when you use the layer graphic and outcome measurement, you, you use it in the right way or not. This is what I propose, the uh, CMU classification. I believe what we what we'll call our Lockwood type 3B is a stage four, which is uh, both AC and CC ligament completely disrupt. So summary, when you got an acute AC joint, detect it. If you sus suspect of the type three, I recommend you to use Chiang Mai lean forward view detect it and fix it properly. Always identify and repair AC ligament and you got an adequate stabilizing of both AC and CC. Thank you very much for your attention.